United Nations Youth Assembly in Nigeria has sent out an appeal to President Muhammadu Buhari to pardon Joshua Darie, the former governor of Plateau State, this uh, owing to his failing health conditions. The UN youth body says the plea emanates from various letters and complaints it receives from activists to intervene. Moyo Thomas reports. The group hinged its action on the recent prison reforms by the president, which changed the prison system to correctional facilities. They said the reform permits the president to use his prerogative of mercy on humanitarian ground, and the worsening health conditions of Joshua Darie requires one. The United Nations Youth Assembly said they met with President Muhammadu Buhari on the 4th of September to discuss the pardon for former Governor Joshua Darie. And briefing the press over the matter is a means of further reminding the president. It's, it's all about trying to save life. Ordinarily, if you follow our speech, we admitted that his case is a criminal case, but our only plea is life that is involved. He's having kidney failure and other uh, health uh, issues. That is why we're pleading on health ground, if you get the point. Our appeal is strictly on health ground, else we could have even encouraged that he stay there to serve the jail terms. But since life is involved, at least it's a human. We are all humans. Everybody has the shortcomings. If for any reason he end up dying in the prison, even without serving the jail term, the country is benefiting nothing. Neither his family, neither the community at large. That is why we're just appealing, at least as a former governor and a serving senator for that matter, to be in jail for over a year and with some months. We talk as much with his health condition. He has learned his lesson in a hard way. Joshua Daria is serving a 10-year jail term in Kuja prison after being convicted of diverting state funds. The UN youth group says he's been managing an ailment before his conviction that affects his kidney and need medical attention that the prison services cannot provide as it is deteriorating. Moya Thomas, CBC News, Abuja.